But I've decided to do a little bit more rather than just go and come down a track I normally do the opposite way. No, no, usually always. In fact, I don't even know if I think I might have done it this way. Maybe a couple of times when I lived over here 15, 14 years ago to vary it a bit. But since then, I always normally come the other way. I thought, no, the road road, just want to do the walks. You're in the wood loads. I'll be walking back through the wood, you see. I'll be walking back that hot route as well, that hot road where the sun is right in your face. There are various pathways and styles and things here which I've never explored. I think they just take you down into Whirl. I'm not doing any of that today. Quite often ponies come along here as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to go right the way up to the White Tower again and then go down through the main road. I might do. I might do. This golf course will be open all evening as well because people who work will want to come out for a round of golf in the evening, see? It was a weird thing, so, you know, for 19 years I lived near Barrow Golf Course. Walked my dogs there all the time. And what was the weird thing is that after Suffolk I moved back. Jodie managed to find somewhere to rent and we lived over here. And I used to walk up here with the dogs. And I still was looking for golf balls. It was... There's all fields around here where horses, meadows for horses. And like I say, there are various pathways. It will take you down to the world, I believe. Some of these various different routes. Locals, if I lived over here, I would have explored them all by now. It's a great time of year for wild flowers. I know it's not very flowery along this part, but in the meadows it's absolutely beautiful. Um, now there was a mixture of wild and domesticated plants, if you like, in the, that little patch I videoed a minute ago near the golf course, and then they were sort of partly wild and partly some seeds from someone's garden, I would have thought. I probably will go right the way up to the White Tower because um, there's another little route a bit further on where we used to take brandy and there was a family of Jack Russells that she always used to mingle with and like to see. She was very friendly brandy. Her and Louie were like brother and sister. You know, they were very close those two.
Yeah. Of course, Brandy knows. I probably explored this route with Brandy uh, and Louis, of course. Those are two dogs that are gone past. Past now. Brandy's been gone. Oh God, eight years. No, seven. Yeah, eight years. Brandy's died. Such an. Gosh, that's eight years. Seems like she was here last week. I'll never forget that dog, you know. She was very, very special. Brandy was very, very special. Very alert, very knowing, very loving. Very... Which way now? Dependable. Yeah, there is another way down there into the town. I've never done it, of course. Coming up to a big farmhouse now. Devoted, I was going to say. I absolutely adored her. I, I cut me up big time when she went. Well, she was like a friend. Really was. Better than any human. We couldn't save her. We couldn't save her. She was probably poisoned. They put a lot of... Uh, it snowed a lot and they put a lot of um, ice, ice de-icer down in the roads. And I think she might have drunk some from a puddle. Yeah, it was a terrible thing. Terrible, terrible thing. I miss her terribly. I really do. And she could be here with me now walking, saying, Don't worry, Sheila. I'm still with you, girl. It ain't the same, though, Bran, is it? It ain't the same, Bran. I miss you terribly. I really, really miss you, Brandy. Even after eight years. We don't forget people like you. Right, so I've done the little loop then. Videoed most of it. And I come out to this farmhouse. They've got horses here. And um, I'm going to turn off now, take some photos and come on back on again. I'll be heading down another track where the Jack Russells used to live. Right, we're now going down the other track. We could have gone straight back up and joined up the main sort of track up there leading out of the golf course, but I thought I'm going to do this loop as well. Um, let's see what the time is. It doesn't take long to do these little walks here. It's quarter past three. That's fine. And the worst part, for me, the worst part will be walking up the road to the wood. That's going to be the thing with no hat on experience in the heat. So here we go, we've got a big field here, big meadow where they used to have pigs and goats down there. The old pigsty is still down there. But whoever had them, and that maintained this, it was kept down a bit. It's always been a bit of a place where people dump their car, or I don't know. I think they, whoever's living in the house maintains their part, but this used to be wild, but more <sighs> cut back by the animal life. The golf course is just up there, by the way. And before now, I have found, I have found golf balls um, when I've been on this track. I got one today as a souvenir. I found it near those flowers, so I'll take a picture of it, and that will go in with the on the disc. Yeah. So Mise and Zara, this is Zara as well. Has done this. She used to come out for walks a bit more with me in those days. Not big walks, but she would do this one. 
Rose Cottage, this is called. Rose Cottage. This is where the Jack Russells used to live. They were kept in a shed at the back, actually. There used to be a big gnome here.